Here is Miss Hannah Trier of the Mermaid Swimming Club showing you the new butterfly stroke. It became popular for racing in America some years ago, but has only recently been recognized in Britain. It is considered much faster than the ordinary breaststroke. Children, too, can do this stroke. Now, 14-year-old Frank Gray shows the arm movements. You can see how the hands are lifted out of the water before the arms are carried forward. Then they pull downward through the water. Notice how the arms pulling down lift the body over the water. The leg movement is the same as that used for the ordinary breaststroke. Now we'll watch 13-year-old Diana Spencer, who also swims the butterfly stroke. Diana can use other strokes equally well, and her back crawl is smooth and easy. Her forward crawl is delightful to watch, with the timing of arms and legs producing an effortless path through the water. Diana takes her swimming seriously, but she still likes her fun in the water. As many of you are interested in football, we thought you'd like to see some of the All-London Challenge Cup final played between the Regal Norwood and the Regal Edmonton. Right from the start, both teams played really good football. was splendidly kept in play and so keen was the game that the result was in doubt until the last 15 minutes. Then during that short period Norwood put on three goals resulting in the score Regal Norwood 6, Regal Edmonton 2. Then came the presentation of cups and medals to the teams. Dr. Smart, a great club enthusiast, complimented the teams on their fine game before he gave the Challenge Cup to the Norwood captain. The Edmonton captain received a small replica of the cup and all the players had medals. Here is the winning team. Well played, Regal Norwood. Borton on the Water is one of the many villages in the Cotswold Hills. We'll go into it with Marida and Jennifer and have a look round. Most of the buildings are of clean Cotswold stone, which helps to make Borton, with its small river Windrush, one of the prettiest villages in Gloucestershire. Small Venetian type bridges cross the river and add their quaintness to the general charm of the village. But Borton is becoming famous for another attraction, its beautiful model village.
It is an exact copy of the actual village, only one-ninth its size. This model village was made by Mr. Morris some ten years ago, and it took him and his helpers four years to complete. The butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, all are here, even the police station. This is the miniature manor house. Here is a good idea to help visitors to examine the little buildings at ground level. It's a periscope, and by looking through the top, you see what is reflected from the bottom. church is a very good model, and like the rest of the model village, is one-ninth the size of the real church. Yes, this tiny village reminds one of Gulliver in the land of Lilliput. At North Shields on the northeast coast, some club members are learning to reproduce popular figures in plaster. They begin with a picture of the character chosen and make a tracing of it. The tracing is then cut out. This traced sketch is put onto plasticine that has been rolled to give an even flat surface. Now all the lines are traced onto it so that they are well impressed into the plasticine. Some additions are needed, like the nose and eyebrows. This is a modeling job, and though it's not very difficult, it requires some practice before you can do it as well as this member. The model, as it's now called, is put into a shallow box, and sticky tape is put all round to prevent any leakage. Onto the model is poured liquid gelatine up to the level of the box and it's left to cool. When the gelatine is set, the box sides can be removed. This becomes the gelatine mold from which any number of casts can be made. Wet plaster of Paris is poured into the gelatine mold, care being taken not to let it overflow. The plaster takes time to set, but when it is hard, it can be turned out. This is called a plaque. All that remains is the painting. Here are some examples of plaques made by these North Shields Club members. Don't you think they're good? <laughs> 